Good morning. It is Monday, January 4th today, and we kind of have a heating situation. So yesterday, um, our furnace motor gave out, and it's a brand new furnace. I don't know if I mentioned it last year, but um, we had to replace our furnace last year because it was spewing out dangerous amounts of carbon monoxide. So we haven't had heat since yesterday and it's supposed to be freaking freezing overnight and also today and I think tonight. So it's a bit cool in our home right now. Our furnace guy is really, like he's a really nice guy though. He, we called him yesterday and he came like right away and he also dropped off a bunch of space heaters which is there's one here, there's also one in the basement, and then we have our electric fireplace upstairs. So we are comfortable, not ideal temperatures, but um, that's what we're doing. My dad's actually going to come over today and hang out at the house because um, Scott, who is our furnace guy, is supposed to come back today to actually fix our furnace so that we don't freeze. But my dad was kind enough to come over so we don't have to take time off work. And that is my morning. Now I'm gonna have some coffee and then head to work. Okay, I am off. I have my coffee. I also have a bagel that I'm going to eat once I get to work. And that alarm you hear in the background is my alarm to tell me that it's time for me to leave for work. I'm currently at the gym right now. I'm tying my suit. <laughs> but there are so many people here because it's January and everyone has a whole bunch of New Year's resolutions to get that healthy, fit lifestyle. But I guarantee by Let's be optimistic. Let's say March. There probably won't be that many people here again. Okay, workout over and uh, gym is getting less busy now. Hello and happy Thursday. It is January 7th today and um, I was at work pretty early today. I think I got to work around 7.30 and it's because I am leaving work early today. So I'm actually going to leave in like maybe 10 minutes. Lately, I have gotten a lot of questions about what I do um, for work. And essentially, I've at, I answered them a few times in comments, but essentially I work in Occupational Health and Safety, OHS. And um, it's not what I have always done. It's not um, what I went to school for. So most of my experience has been in audit and finance. So this is totally new to me, um, but I've been in this industry for a little over two years now and I'm very happy I made the switch. This position, this role, kind of just like fell into my lap and I seized it and I'm, I'm happy I did because I, I love the work that I do. Anyway, uh, without going into further detail about like w exactly what I do and where I work because I think that might be a little too much personal information to post on the internet that is essentially um, my job in a nutshell. I work in occupational health and safety. So like I said, I am leaving work early today because I'm driving my mom to the airport. Actually, the Bo and I are going to drive her. She is going on holiday for I think like two and a half weeks and we're going to take her to the airport and I'm going to meet up with her now right after I leave work and um, pick her up. When I last messaged her earlier today, she said, when I last messaged her earlier today, she said she was still packing, um, which is funny because that's exactly Exactly like me. I'm, I'm a last minute packer too. I'm pretty much packing up until like I board the flight. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just sending off a couple of emails and then I am out here. Hello, I am home and I'm just waiting for the bow to get home actually so we can take my mom to the airport. We're probably not gonna leave for another hour or so because it's only like 6.20 and my mom's flight isn't until 1 a.m. So it's still really early. I think the plan was to go to Ikea before the airport because I wanted to pick up a new desk for my beauty room closet. And yeah, so my mom is just here at my house. All of her luggage is packed up in my car, waiting for the bow, and then I'm gonna have dinner and then head to the airport. I lent my mom my watch, my citizen watch that you guys always see me wear, and I'm wearing this watch here and it is so heavy compared to my old watch i'm like trying to get used to it but i bought this pretty recently probably like last year mid mid last year and um i haven't really worn it that much but i do like it it's like a rose gold band um but yeah it's just like a lot heavier than i'm used to i also wanted to show you guys the necklace that my mom got me for christmas so it is this one here, the bar, and it's just gold. It's plain. I'm thinking I might get it engraved on the back with just an initial. I'm not sure yet. I really like it though. This is a closer look at my stack right now. They're all kind of getting tangled. 
um, because I was wearing a scarf and uh, it just scarves and necklaces are just not co cohesive friends. But this is just a really thin gold um, pendant on a chain. This is the bar necklace that my mom got me. My mom actually bought me all of these. Um, and this is my little pearl that you guys always see me wear. So we're dropping my mom off at the airport now. We're just walking to the security check-in. We are home from dropping my mom off at the airport and I am now going to get ready for bed. Um, I'm gonna do my nighttime routine. It is about, what time is it? Like almost 10.30. So not super, super late, but um, a bit later than I would like to go to sleep. I've been trying to go to sleep a bit earlier um, because I have kind of really, really dark circles under my eyes because I'm a little bit sleep deprived. Um, so tonight was kind of a write off, but going forward, I'm gonna try to go to sleep a bit earlier. Um, so I will wish you guys a good night and see you next time. Good morning and happy Friday. It is another work day and I don't know what I'm gonna do after work today. I think I might go to the community center and maybe work out a little bit and that's it. This weekend I want to finish off my beauty room, my closet in my beauty room so I can finally do a tour. So a trip to Ikea might be necessary but I want to go first thing in the morning before all the crowds and just like be in and out because I know exactly what I want and just have it done. I am driving to work right now. I'm a bit frazzled. I forgot to blow dry my hair. Um, so it's a bit wet, but it'll probably dry during my commute. But um, the sky is really pretty right now. It's just like a beautiful, radiant, color. I love it. Hello, it is pretty much the end of the day now. I'm leaving work a little bit early today, um, probably in like 10-15 minutes. It's Friday night and I don't have anything exciting planned. Um, the beau has some errands to do before he comes home and I'm thinking I might pop into Sephora to check out their new, what are they called? I think they're called the Sephora Future Gel Serum Correctors. I think. Um, they're kind of like the corrector version of the concealer that I love and I'm really excited because they come in a few different shades but I think there's a shade that might be really similar to the Giorgio Armani corrector which I am obsessed with and I'm almost out of it so I need to repurchase a new corrector anyway. I'm hoping the Sephora one is just as great as the Giorgio Armani one because it's only like $17. The Armani one is like $37 I think but uh, I want to check it out after work. I'm currently at the bay right now and uh, I was looking for a swimsuit because I, I need a one piece so I can do um, some laps at the community center because they have a pool and they open up their fitness lanes um, pretty much for an hour every night so I want to do some laps but one pieces are just really hideous aren't they? I'm home and it was a relatively successful trip to the mall today. They did not have a swimsuit that I liked. I checked the bay and also sport check and um, I couldn't find one that I liked. But I did pick up the corrector that I wanted to check out from Sephora. So this is the Sephora Bright Future Color Corrector. They had five different shades, um, but I was the most interested in the shade Melon, which is this one, because this color reminds me a lot of the Giorgio Armani one. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I swatched this one and also Peach in store. And the peach one is much lighter. This one has more of an orangey tint, which is why I think it would work really well. But but I will um, kind of swatch it against the Giorgio Armani one and we shall see how similar or maybe different they are. So while the Sephora trip was a success, I did happen to lose a mitten. So I think I lost it while I was at Sephora and I tried to like backtrack to see where I could have misplaced it, but it's gone forever. I couldn't find it again, but um, RIP to the lefty to this righty. So these are the correctors side by side. So Sephora, Giorgio Armani. As you can see, the Armani one is a tad bit, I'd say warmer, a little bit darker, maybe a tinge more on the orangey side. But they are a similar hue. This is how they swatch. So the bottom one is the Sephora one and the top one is Giorgio Armani. And uh, 
I don't know, they look pretty similar to me. They're not exact dupes, but they have a very, very similar tone. So I am excited to try this for one. I'm gonna try it tomorrow. I am going to head to bed now. It is about 10.30. Bo and I spent the evening um, inside watching Orange is the New Black. We are pretty much like halfway through the third season now. I actually really like that show. The first season is probably still like my favorite season, um, but I like how the storyline is progressing. Anyway, I am going to do my nighttime routine now, get ready for bed, and see what the weekend brings. By the way, I still have no intention of taking down my Christmas tree or removing the holiday garland that I have up right now. Good morning, it is Saturday, I wanna say January 9th? I'll have to look further into that. I'm not sure what the date is, but this morning, has been a pretty chill, relaxed morning. I slept in, um, I talked to my mom, she arrived safely at her destination, so I'm glad to hear that. And um, the Bo and I have just kind of been just having a really easy morning. We had pancakes for breakfast. Along with a latte. And I did put three um, pumps of syrup into my latte this morning. We also watched a couple episodes of Orange is the New Black. I repainted my nails, although they did not turn out like I wanted them to. I was going for a marble look, but clearly it did not turn out right. Only one finger out of all of them turned out okay. This one didn't turn out half bad, but I wanted there to be more of a contrast between the marble and then the, the white background. I'm just gonna leave them the way they are right now because we're about to head out and I'm gonna try again later. This one is kind of okay, but yeah, yeah these ones for sure are like a, a hot, hot mess. And now I think we're gonna do some errands. I need to get a swimsuit. I wanna stop by Ikea to get a desk and also some closet organizers and probably have lunch because it's around lunchtime now. We're currently at uh, Ikea checking out and it's <laughs> so busy. Home and we stopped by the grocery store before we came home and the bow got me some tulips so I'm gonna put them in a vase right now. Um, but it was overall a successful trip to Ikea. I got everything I wanted. The lines were really long and also they didn't have all the registers open so it was extra frustrating because I'm sure Ikea knows Saturday is probably like one of their busiest days of the week for business. But uh, yeah, so I'll show you guys what I picked up once I finish putting away the groceries. While the bow is um, making us dinner, we're actually gonna have uh, chicken wings in our air fryer, so I'm pretty excited for that. But while he's making that, I thought I would show you guys the things that I picked up. Um, nothing is obviously put together yet because we just got home, but I wanted to just talk about the things I picked up and why I picked them up. So this is the closet in my beauty room. Um, so it is just right off the main door, so here is my nail polish rack. Here is the closet. It has a window inside, um, and it's just a very odd shape. It's almost kind of like triangular shaped, as you can see there. So when we moved in, there was no closet system in here. Um, originally, there was probably just like one shelf and one long rod. So ever since we moved in, I have just kind of been using it as storage space. I've been just piling crap in here. Um, so now I actually want to utilize it. As you can see also, there is no door. It did have a door, but I just removed it. I took it off the hinges so that it's just kind of like one with the rest of the space. So I picked up um, the Algot system from Ikea, which is kind of like a closet organization system. And uh, so I picked that up. So I'm gonna have like a bunch of shelves at the top, just two, two shelves at the top. And uh, that's it, just so I can store things up at the top because there's just a lot of space up there that isn't being utilized. So these three are where I'm gonna actually mount the shelves on. I have the brackets down here. This is a chair that will go with the next item I'll show you. And these are the shelves here. So the other item I picked up is this brim, brimness? Brims um, desk is a dressing table. It's just a small cute one that I'm going to put in this beauty room either here facing the window or Here underneath the shelving. I'm not sure this room is the room that gets the best lighting 
So I figured I would have a dressing table in here in case I wanted to get ready in here because like I said, this room is just the best lighting in the whole house. So that's why I got this chair. It is just a really cheap chair. It's only like $12. Um, but I didn't want anything too big because as you can see, it's not a very big space. So I didn't want to put like a ghost chair in here because uh, there's no way it would, it would fit. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do for this space. I wanted to get it done this weekend so I could finally give you guys a tour of my beauty room. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get everything ready. So um, I'll probably film that in the weekends to come. But it will be coming very soon. It has taken pretty much a year to get this beauty room to the way I want it to look and uh, I'm excited to share it with you guys because I'm, I'm really uh, proud of this space. finished the closet and the table so I'll show you guys quickly what it looks like here's the finished product so I just put the two shelves at the top because I really just wanted um, storage space for boxes and things like that I did get the full length mounts because I wanted the option in case I want to you know utilize this for something else I can add more shelves or hanging space I did get one clothes rail and I just put it on this side just for the option option of hanging things and I still have Judy here in the corner and then this is the desk that I mentioned so this is the one with the flip top and then there's a mirror and some storage space at the bottom and then there is a drawer on this side and then this is just a really kind of cheapo chair like I said I didn't want to put a big uh, chair here because it's a very small space and I didn't want to utilize all the space with a chair. I really wanted a stool, but the bow talked me into this one. I gotta clean the mess that I have created here on the floor and then I am going to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll show you guys kind of how I finish um, organizing this space. Hello, it is Sunday, January 10th, and the Bo and I are going to do some workouts. So I think I'm just gonna hit the gym up. I wanted to do some laps at the pool, but I still haven't gotten a swimsuit. Maybe I'll put that on my to-do list today too. So I didn't do a lot of vlogging today. Um, the Bo and I went to the gym, did some errands. I'm still on the hunt for a swimsuit. I found one that I liked at Sport Shack, but they didn't have my size and it wasn't available online, so it's kind of a bummer. But I wanted to show you guys quickly um, the some of the updates I guess I made to my beauty room closet. Okay, this is how I've set it up so far. I haven't finalized how I want it yet, but um, I have this clear acrylic Muji drawer with a jewelry tray on top. There's obviously nothing inside this yet because I'm not sure whether I want to keep things in here or in there. So I just put in, this is where I'm going to put uh, my weekly makeup choices I guess. And then in this drawer, I just have like random things. <laughs> the shelves up here, I just have some boxes. I still have to sort through these because I haven't decluttered them yet, but that is what I'm doing right now. I also might put a couple uh, shallower shelves here above the desk, um, but I am not sure yet. So with that, I will wish you guys a good night. I hope you guys have had a wonderful first full week of 2016. It was my first five day work week in quite a while and it went by pretty quick actually. But I'm going to head to bed now because tomorrow is Monday morning and uh, back to <laughs> regular work weeks. I enjoyed watching this vlog and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.